Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. And let's jump right in. Oops. Okay, honeymoon, okay. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Libra. For Libra in love. What can Libra expect? What's going on for Libra in love? Unrequited love and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Libra, you've been... Your readings recently, like, it has been about something to do with communication. Either someone's hiding their true feelings, hiding something from you, etc. I feel like this might be a continuation of that. Unrequited love. This is a card about, like, a lack of balance. Someone's more interested, more putting in more effort, putting in more uh, emotion than the other person. There's an imbalance because of that. Um, it could be that one of you wants um something like commitment and the other one might not something like that so we'll see you're not on the same page basically spirits and just guys tell me more for libra what's going on for libra in love what's going on for libra in love what can libra expect in love Six of Swords, what can Libra expect? Page of Swords, what can Libra expect in love? Second half of this. Two of Swords, wow, look at all these swords. Yeah, once again, Page of Swords, very important. Something needs to be said, there's some sort of truth that needs to be expressed. However, with the Two of Swords, there's indecision guarded energy um six of swords is here which i find very interesting someone could have walked away from this connection in the past or someone's considering doing that now the six of swords is a card about leaving the difficulty behind uh moving on moving forward so let's see tell me about the six of swords this is Six of Swords here. This is Six of Swords. Oops. This is Six of Swords. Here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Cups. Well, someone could have left the past behind here because of some drama, conflict, five of wands, three of swords, heartbreak, disappointment. Someone could have had a difficult time of it. And the past must have been painful here or difficult for someone. And I feel like this is someone making a move. But I'm trying to figure out, are they leaving the past behind? Because I see the king of wands. King of wands... They tend to kind of go out towards something, like go after something. Hmm. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone moving towards an opportunity here. After some sort of difficult ending, Ten of Swords. This could be an ending that someone's had in their life, like a, a difficult cycle that ended, a difficult ending of some sort. You or your person could have had a difficult ending here. I don't know. It's almost like someone has left a situation to come towards the other person because I have the Knight of Pentacles here or to go after another opportunity altogether. Tell me about the pages. Okay, we got the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Spare why is the Page of Swords here? There's the Page of Swords here. That was my dog. 
Knight of Wands. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like this is someone that wants to take some sort of an act, some sort of action here. Um, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. I find it interesting that the Knight of Pentacles is here, though. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. Fool is very. Um, they're risk takers. They're willing to take a chance. They're taking leaps of faith, hoping for the best. Um, and when I see it here with the Knight of Wands, I'm thinking about someone that perhaps is being a bit, um, they're very motivated, willing to take chances. So why the Knight of Pentacles over here? Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Hold on. Page of Wands. Okay, so this is... This is communication, I feel, with the Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. So this is about communication. So I feel like, <laughs> man, I feel like a heart-to-heart -heart is coming. And I don't know who's going to initiate it. It could be your person. It could be you, Libra. I feel like someone needs to just, I feel, take this plunge because I have the Knight of Wands and the Fool. It's almost like someone's just going to go for it. Um... So why the two of swords? I feel like there's so much back and forth energy here. The wheel of fortune. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here, spirit? Queen of swords. Maybe the timing isn't right, or perhaps someone might miss an opportunity if they're not careful. Because the wheel is constantly turning, and, you know, an opportunity is just not going to be there forever when the Wheel of Fortune shows up. And again with the Queen of Swords, it's like honesty, truth, communication, clarity. Can I get one more for the Two of Swords? Knight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like um, Spirit is getting irritated with me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I feel like sometimes when the message repeats so often, it's because that is the message. There is no other clarity that I really need, or I guess Spirit feels I don't really need to know much more just than this. There is some sort of communication, conversation, an important talk that is going to take place here or needs to take place in this connection. What can Libra expect next? Spirit. What can Libra expect next in the near future? What's going to happen next here in the near future? What does Libra need to know about where this is headed? Okay. The Empress, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Three of Cups, and the Hangman. Again, I'm getting like, yeah, there's like um, a hesitation here. <sighs> that, that's why the Knight of Pentacles is bothering me. The Knight of Pentacles has been bothering me since I put it down there. Because then I, now I see the hangman. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow. They don't like to take risks. They like to be practical. They like to think things through. They plan. They bullet journal. You know, <laughs> that's the Knight of Pentacles. But then I see here the King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, you know, very quick moving energy. I feel like this is someone's intention, right? Like they're, it's almost like someone's like trying to like, maybe like, um, give themselves a pep talk here. Maybe they feel like time is running out, like they need to do this, right? But then when it comes time to pull the trigger, I feel like there's this slowing down here. Like, let me think about it a little bit more. That's these two, <laughs> the hammer and the hermit. Let me think about it a little bit more. And then I have the three of cups. Which I don't know if there's somebody else here. Empress is here. Tell me about the three of cups. Tell me about the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? Five of pentacles. Why is the Three of Cups here? I feel like something is off or preventing your person from giving the same that you are able to give. 
Tell me about the Three of Cups. Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups. Okay, so I feel a lot of you are dealing with either a situation where finances are a block in your connection for whatever reason. And this could be something like your person needs to physically move or they're in a connection that is finances are tangled up. Maybe they have lost their job or something like that. Um, I feel like there's something here where this person has kept something from you uh, that they need to speak up on because the Seven of Swords is here. And the communication here is so important. And it's all about like the main message I, I'm getting is the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords is like the ones that stick out to me. So it's almost like, you know, and I also have this card, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like there's some sort of truth that needs to be expressed here. Maybe uh, someone's true feelings need to be expressed or something regarding the third party needs to be like honestly expressed. Um, I feel like this person is scared of having this discussion because I think they talk themselves out of it or there's something that could be literally preventing them from reaching out. For some of you, for example, that would be that you have them blocked everywhere. Well, yeah, this person will never be able to reach out to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not going to break into your house and talk to you. That's not how that works. So there there could be something that's literally preventing them from communicating with you or it's just their own hesitation. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Eight of Wands. I feel like that you're this Empress and it's interesting because I feel like they, um, they're thinking about what to tell you here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles? King of Pentacles? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Huh? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, there's something to do here with money, stability. Others of you are dealing with someone that's married, that they need to be single or free, and this is taking forever. But when I put down this King of Pentacles, um, Spirit was telling me something here. They, it's almost, um, as soon as I put down the King of Pentacles, they said, look at the pages. I was like, okay. So I'm looking at the pages, and all I think about is these pages look very young, immature, and experienced, and it's almost like this person's trying to be a king of pentacles but inside i feel like they're they're scared like a child or unsure or they act in immature ways which is very interesting that's a very specific message i don't think it's going to re resonate for all of you but it makes sense as to why this is someone that can't pull the trigger it's almost like I feel like this is a situation where someone, they should have just told you this sooner and it wouldn't have been a big deal. But because they've waited so long, it's not going to be a hot mess, kind of. Some of you are dealing with someone who appearances are very important, especially with these two here. Their stability is very important. How they, you know, money is very important to them. Almost more important than maybe going after what they're truly passionate about. And I see that too. In a lot of like personal readings and things like that, you know, sometimes people's priorities are not exactly in line with what makes sense, okay? So that's what I see. I see that this is somebody that there there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation as to you know i wish i could tell you that they're going to actually do it um i mean it all looks like it's pointing in that direction libra but i feel like with the wheel of fortune here and the knight of pentacles the hangman i don't want to jump in and say they're going to do it because i have a feeling that there's a good chance here for your person to miss an opening you know, sometimes that happens and I'm just being honest with you because it's what I see. 
So that's what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, consider hitting the like button, subscribing, um, so you can see more readings from me. Uh, thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, your support. I really appreciate it, Libra, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.